Welcome back everyone. Now in this video, we're going to be discussing Alex and I, our business models in terms of how we generated the $1 million. In the first video, we talked about our first $1 million. When did it happen? What mindset do we need to get there? It's so important that we, we touched on mindset. That's, it was you know not enough to chew on. In this video, we're going to get the meat and potatoes. But before is like the pre-qualifier because it's like I could give you all the facts and all the details, but if you're not willing to change this mindset of yours, if you're not willing to go through the five year pain period, right? I heard Alex Hermosi talk about, you know, in the Rocky movie, his his pre right. his pregame work mm. to fighting Apollo Creed was like two minutes. Mm. Versus <laughs> in real life, that two minute journey that Rocky went through to to fight a his competitor. In real life, can be five years. Yeah, for for if us, not five, yeah. ten plus years. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, so we're going over more specifics because I'm a mindset guy too. That's the foundation of any successful business or entrepreneur. But again, that's not the end of it. That's not the whole picture. It's all about having the right mindset. Once we're going to go into, we say fast track, but it's not a way of clickbaiting or anything. It's just more. Here is how we did it. And so if you're watching and you're selling a product for $50 or you know $50,000, he's gonna show you the mid-ticket, low-ticket model that he used, you know the marketing, how we sold his products, and I'm gonna go on the flip side and show how I have more of a high-ticket model, my marketing, my sales method, my kind of entire funnel. And again, it's more meat and potatoes specifics in this video, so you can go first. Yeah. Yeah. So in my business model is low, ticket slash mid ticket, which is essentially a low profit and initially was low volume, mm. right? And Myron Golden, shout out to him. He's, he breaks down the different models way better. There's there's basically low volume plus- High volume. Plus low ticket equals low oh, profit. Right. And that's kind of like where I initially started off. Right. I didn't know the value of me in the beginning. Mm. You probably won't either there's going to be a growth in that. So for me, that's kind of like where it started. It was low volume at first, low profit. Then over time, as I began to understand the value that I'm bringing to the table and being able to price point it by doing market research and understanding what people are willing to pay for things and the psychology between paying cheap for something versus how much effort they put into it versus the person that pays more money, the more effort that client that customer puts into your operation your process mm -hmm. and ends up being a more successful client mm -hmm. than me trying to sort of do a discount help someone out in the in the for the sake of trying to be humble mm -hmm. right and end up hurting people right like there's a weird paradigm there that i had to overcome so in the beginning was anywhere from zero to 97 dollars mm -hmm. that is very low ticket and then anything, I would say 147, 147 to about 997 was mid ticket. Mm -hmm. And I was rocking at these numbers for the first year or two in my business, all of 2018, 2019, and then 2020. Mm -hmm. My highest offer was 1497. That's still kind of like mid yeah. ticket. And Alex will go into like where high ticket actually, you know, starts in, in his opinion. And even with that, so what happens is once I understood the value, then it just, I had to switch it from low volume. I had to go from low ticket, mid ticket times high volume to get high profit. That was, that's the formula, mm -hmm. right? And it's a simple formula. People simple. like to overcomplicate it, but even if you're in e-commerce and you're selling a $10 product to make a million dollars, you do simple division. Right, a million dollars in revenue divided by ten dollars of product is however many sales. I think it's what ten thousand or a thousand, something like that. Yeah. And you make a million dollars in revenue. I believe it's ten thousand sales. Um, but that's where low ticket can work if you have tremendous volume. Correct. In e-commerce or in coaching. Yeah. So let's talk about how do you get the high volume. So you obviously need to create an offer first and you need to target an audience you need to know who your audience is and you need to know who you're serving in my case i'm serving single moms divorced moms widows um, housewives moms that are transitioning from being a housewife to going into the business world 
And so in general, mothers in general do not have a whole lot of capital to work with. So I created an irresistible offer, an offer so good that they would feel crazy not to jump on it and take advantage of it. It's all about putting together that really valuable offer for someone to say yes, right? And then sharing that offer with an audience that you know will resonate with the offer to begin with. And then in order to get that audience is the marketing, right? And in my case, my marketing strategy was organic content, right? And when I create organic content, guess what? That establishes a lead. And when I have a lead, guess what? They're able to see my offer. Because of how I built my audience, because of how I did the marketing, which was through organic content, which led to leads, more people that I can make offers to. And that right there, that's the meat and potatoes. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, but these are the elements. That's what got me to a million dollars, multiple six figure years. Mm -hmm. And it's just following this. People have seen this. Simple funnel, nobody wants to follow it. They're like, oh, I can close people if I get them on the phone, or I can close them once they get to my website. Mm -hmm. If you have an e-commerce store, I just don't know why I'm not getting a lot of sales. Well, in your case, and even my case, it always starts with traffic. I think the issue is, and I'll dive into my offer, but a lot of people think they need less traffic or leads than they actually do to generate the result that they want. You know, I talk to people that are baffled that they're not making millions of dollars a month. And I'm like, oh, I mean, if you wanna make a million a month, how much are you spending in ads? Like 400,000 a month? They're like, no, I'm spending $4,000 a month. And I'm like, $4,000 a month would get you maybe, let's even say a dollar a click, maybe 4,000 um, visitors, 4,000 pieces of traffic. Out of those 4,000 pieces of traffic, let's say even selling what Denzel is selling, maybe you get, what, 400 leads, maybe 10%, if yeah, that, maybe even that. like 5%. Yeah. So now you're at, out of 4,000 people, you're at 200 leads. Out of 4,000 visitors, out of 200 leads, how many sales are you getting? For low ticket, mid ticket, not high ticket. Yeah. Out of 200 people. Maybe 10% of that. So maybe 20 people, All right? So again, 20 sales at, let's even say, thousand dollars that's still 20 grand you spent four thousand you made 20 grand minus your ad spend you're at 16k in profit that's a nice little six-figure business not a million dollar a month business but again if you want a million dollar business you would need to spend probably like 300,000 400,000 a month in advertising and so going into my offer I've always been more of a high ticket person which it really is more about 10,000, not a month, but 10,000 as the lifetime value if we're looking at numbers. So looking about 10,000 for the lifetime value and whether they pay that up front or they paid in monthly payments over six months or quarterly payments, you know, once you're in the $10,000 range or more, that's pretty high ticket. Um, so to generate good revenue though, you can be at $10,000 in lifetime value times relatively low volume because, you know, first of all, you're looking at who can afford something for $10,000. You're looking at who has the mental capacity and I would say fortitude to make a $10,000 investment into an intangible service like coaching or consulting or something that they can't really hold. I mean, you could buy a car for $10,000. You have the keys, it has wheels, windows, like that's tangible. Mm -hmm. A $10,000 investment is not for everybody. And that's still not considered super high ticket, super high ticket. I mean, I know people with six figure offers. Yeah. You know, 100, 150, 200,000. Tony Robbins has a seven figure. Oh, a million a year. Ticket. Yeah. Plus a dollars. piece of the upside for like one coaching call a month. Yeah. And it's booked out, right? So people are willing to pay, but again, you can get high lifetime value, high volume with enough traffic. But if we're looking at my model, how do I even get people to understand what I offer? And the high ticket game is all about how can I get them to view me as a credible figure to where they wanna work with me for whatever their goal is, e-commerce, marketing, advertising, YouTube consulting. It is about credibility. So that's where on the marketing side, you are looking at not just how can I get 
I would say not just quality traffic, but also people that are trustworthy and credible to whatever I'm doing. They believe that I have credibility and trust when it comes to e-commerce, YouTube consulting, you know, marketing. That's where I can use that trust and credibility to charge the higher ticket prices. As an example, if somebody tells you, two people, they tell you, you should invest in this stock. As an example, one of them first says, oh, by the way, I went to Harvard, but you should invest in this stock or in Denzel's program. The other person says, I'm a fry cook at McDonald's right now, but I really think you should invest in Denzel or this stock. Who are you gonna believe? The Harvard guy. Right, why? Guy already has credibility, went through years and years of college education. You know there's a level of work ethic that that person had to go through to get that title. And he went to Harvard. <laughs> He's not making, you know, nothing wrong with working at McDonald's, but if you're looking at credibility and trust in being in this space, it's not about having the skill set. It's about does your customer believe that you're worth 10, 20, $50,000? If they don't, they're not going to sign up with you. So I think that's the difference between mid and low ticket versus high ticket because the economics work the same. I mean, if you want to make seven figures with this, you need 10 customers a month times $10,000 lifetime value. That's a seven figure business. That's 120,000 a month for 10 customers. With your business model, you need maybe 100, 150. Yeah. It's not that one is better than the other. It takes a different skill set because it's also with my offer, you have to sell that over the phone. And not that you're trying to push people to sign up or sell them, but you have to communicate with people over the phone answer questions they may have and see if they're a good fit for your offer. And so that's where the sales process for Denzel is I would say a little more automated where he gets traffic to his website. A lead may not even fill out a form. They may just go to your website, see your product, say, wow, I like it. Go straight to the sale and they sign up, right? And so I think that is the difference where mid and ticket and low ticket, you can scale that a little bit faster with kind of like a, a solo business where you don't need 10 salespeople to make, you know, a million a month with high ticket. You know, there is a lot of logistics with follow up and CRM. And, you know, we can touch on that in another video. But again, no matter the business model, him and I can both make 100,000 a month or more. It just depends on how much traffic, what's your lead to traffic ratio, how many pieces of traffic is becoming a lead. And then, of course, how do you get them to the sales process? But again, High ticket, low ticket, mid ticket, it works. But a lot of people don't look at, again, how much traffic do I need? And they don't look at the funnel. They just think, why am I not getting sales? You know, it's like, I want a six pack, but I'm not going to the gym. Like think of this as going to the gym. Think of this as doing the reps, doing the sets with consistency and you'll get the sale. But a lot of people just want the six pack. They want the sale right now. Yeah. And that's not how it works. You also need to track your numbers. You need to mm -hmm. know your numbers. You got to run the numbers. So the more you, you pay attention to these numbers, these metrics, mm -hmm. the easier it is for you to be able to like literally map out what a six figure month, what a seven figure year could potentially look at. Mm -hmm. And again, this isn't a either or. You could do both, mm -hmm. right? You could start here eventually graduate there Vice or, you versa. Go, or you can go right into there and then work your way down mm -hmm. in terms of so alex may start off with a high ticket and let's say someone's not ready but then he can start down selling mm -hmm. so so there's a lot of unique advantages to this. what worked for me on on this was the fact that i didn't have to get on the phone and sell someone i didn't have to do cold call outreach knock mm -hmm. on people's doors i also didn't have the capital to spend on marketing on ads so when i went the organic content creation route to do my marketing just by creating content what you have to understand is we're living in a time where it's amateur hour right where there's like you can stand out just from being intentional mm -hmm. and consistent with who you are talking to you can stand out immediately so i was able to stand out in such a small space extremely fast without any credibility without having to go to Harvard, without a college education, graduating with just a high school diploma and a background working in food and beverage restaurants. Like I did not have a whole lot of experience. So this really appealed to me. Again, mindset, I didn't think I was valuable at the time to be charging $10,000 and, and upwards, let alone even $500, right? So I initially started out with what would I pay myself, right? Or what would 
I even allowed you guys exactly. to, to to put a price point on me, and I just said it's yes. just a it's a limiting belief. It's just exactly. negative self coaching. Yeah. Over time, I I eventually grew out of that. And what's beautiful is once you have this organic content, you're putting yourself out there. You've built that credibility, or maybe you're like an Alex that goes on other people's channels and and leverages other people's credibility and authority where you already have trust in me because you're watching my content now that he's mm. here and i'm saying i trust him enough to be in the same room with him to do work with him you're automatically trusting this guy or giving him the benefit of the doubt mm. at the very least and so by the time you get on a call with him and have a discussion you're like i see why denzel trusts right. this guy da, 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 and boom you're now spending that kind of money. The issue though is Denzel, a lot of people want to jump into high ticket and they have no credibility, either in the real world in terms of skill set or in terms of marketing, right? You can look them up online, you see them going out on parties and you see them with beer on their Instagram, you're like, I wouldn't give this kid $20,000. Like, are you out of your mind? Because usually you're not just selling one person, you're selling a team. Usually it's a husband and a wife, wife and a husband. Usually one is very on board, but the other one's like, let me look this guy up or let me look this girl up. Let me Google who is this Hannah, who's Alex, who's Denzel. Let me do my research. And I mean, if your credibility online is limited, why would they trust you with a good amount of money? And that's why a lot of people want to jump straight into this with no credibility. Yeah. And to your point, mm -hmm. someone that doesn't have a huge following, but you learned how to get on other people's right. channels where they have big followings. And they so have that, credibility. And they have credibility. So you you leverage that. Right. And you also did come to the table with a with a skill set. Mm -hmm. So there might be some people watching who are like, I don't have a skill set yet. I don't know anything that well yet. I'm mm -hmm. I'm not good at marketing. I'm not good at talking. I'm not good at anything. Okay, that was me. Mm -hmm. Right? That was me. You might want to consider starting here work your way up build some experience you can have beta clients you can get started this is what i did i i took on people for free and i said hey if you get value from what i share with you and i actually improve and transform your finances would what would you pay mm -hmm. i put it back on them they're like i pay you 500 bucks okay great i'm gonna go to work and then i have a verbal agreement they're gonna give 500 dollars. and i can't tell you how many people i've had that actually have done that over the years mm -hmm. and that gives you the confidence and the experience, the skill set that you need. Say, yes, I can actually help people because I did it for Joe, Susie, Mary, Tom. And, and to understand what are their needs and how can I fulfill them and satisfy them to get to the high ticket mark. But again, if you're going high ticket, and you don't really know who your customer is. Like, how old are they? How much do they make? What are they looking for in you to trust you and find you credible to sign up with you? If you don't know that, you can't just jump into high ticket because you could say, oh, I could charge $20,000 an hour and you can say that, but if people don't pay you or they don't believe it, then it's just a number. It's not something in your bank account. Absolutely. And being in the, in the day and age of social media, it helps to be conscious of what you do off camera, yeah. what you do when the camera is on you, on other people's social medias, family and friends. Also keep that image in mind. You, you have a professional image of, in either one of these, low mm -hmm. ticket, mid ticket, or high ticket. This doesn't mean be less professional exactly. just because you're low ticket. No, no, no. This is giving you the, the, the practice to show your professionalism in such a way where not so much is on the line. Mm -hmm. The last thing you want to do is make a wonderful offer to someone and you don't deliver. And now you're tarnished, right? Mm -hmm. Your reputation is tarnished for years to come and that takes a long time to recover. So with all that being said, this is how our business models work and are fast track to $1 million in terms of low ticket, mid ticket for me and Alex, high ticket. And with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. God bless and we'll be talking soon.